Hello, welcome to the astrology readings for the 20th through to the 26th of May 2024. If you are watching this and it isn't, it's outside of those dates, then there will be a message in here for you. Okay, just um, if you're watching it randomly, um, yeah, it'll be a message for you. Uh, my guides deliberately add in a message for whoever is listening um, at each one of these um, stages as well. Okay, so, so you know, if you're, say, you're listening to the Taurus and you're not a Taurus, there'll be something in there for you um, as well. It's, uh, it's something that the guides like to do, okay, with that. Okay, so um, I just want to say... A a big thank you to all of the lovely patrons and um, the newest members, CH, Jessica W, Alexis M, LC, and a big thank you to all standing supporters as well. Um, I truly appreciate each one of you. It says so in that banner. That's what it feels like. Gracie, Sarah, Christina, Shannon. Claire, Greg, Christine, Melissa, Julie, Vera, Renee, Lisa, Kelly, Ron, Terry, Sherry, Stephanie, Arejo, Linda, Julie, another Julie, uh, Deb, Anita, another Shannon, Phil, Doreen, Devon, and Elizabeth. So each one of you lovely people help me to carry on um, doing what I do. And I appreciate you very much. So um, I'm sorry I haven't been around. Um, there has been um, um, some very hefty um, family things going on with uh, my uh, granddaughter being very unwell. Um, she was born uh, last Monday, I believe. It was Monday. And um, yeah, so... And she was uh, in um, special care baby unit, but the high dependency part of it. And so, but she's on the mend now. Everything is going really, really well. And, um, you know, thanks to all of your healing and all of your love. But uh, that's kind, kind of why I've had to back off from, um, you know, being um, out here and doing the things I usually do online. But uh, thank you. Okay, so we are going to be doing an order the astrology we're going to start off with the earth signs which is taurus virgo capricorn then the signs which are leo Sagittarius, and aries air signs aquarius gemini libra and finishing off with uh, water signs scorpio pisces and cancerians okay so we do rotate these um me and my guides so in the royal we um, we do ro rotate these every week, okay? So every time I do this, um, so next week it will be the fire signs last, and then the air signs, water signs. So, sorry, it will be the earth signs, um, you know, the water signs first. Sorry, it's gonna it rotates like that. So whatever was last is gonna be first. So, yeah, just so that you know how that goes. Um, yeah, so thank you to all the Patreons there. Um, and, uh, you know, we appreciate you very, very much. Um, now, this is the second video uh, because the first video I tried to do this live and it was uh, playing up so much that I, I had to uh, come away and do it recorded. So, yeah, um, yeah, sorry about that, everybody. Um, <clears throat> so let's go straight through and we're going to start with the earth signs which is taurus okay so this will be time stamp 4 30. so what major arcana card is going to be representing taurus okay what is it going to be let's have a look okay it, it is the chariot okay so this is where the chariot says you've got to choose you've got to make a choice um you know know what it is to be you know what it is to 
um, to do the right thing. And sometimes we have to pick a side. Sometimes we have to, um, you know, make that decision. Otherwise, um, it's going to be made for you. Um, looking at things, weighing it up, you know, um, looking at the pros and cons, okay, before you decide on what you're going to do. Now, that could be uh, weighing up up the pros and cons within a relationship whether that is a love life relationship or a family situation or friendship um, sometimes it can be a financial thing between two jobs maybe or between whether or not you're going to um, take uh, one deal or another you know feeling in that crossroads edgy okay so that's why you have the chariots at this time Okay, so I just want to see what else is going on now for Taurus. So bear with me, just tuning in now. Okay, so just for my spirit guides benefit, the 20th through to the 26th of May. Okay, so um, there's going to be a lot of new beginnings, especially when it comes to money and finances. Okay, that is where that chariot comes in with the crossroads. Um, you're going to have to decide uh, whether or not you want to carry on on the path that you're on, because I do think there's going to be an opportunity that will give you the recognition and reward that you have been searching for. Um, now, this could be somebody saying, or it could be some, you know, um, an opportunity that doesn't come up very often. But I am seeing this party energy. I'm seeing that feeling of celebrating. Okay. So now when you do, you have a reading like this, sometimes that, um, you know, job offer or promotion or extra responsibility within a job can sometimes be connected to your partner. You know, if you've got a partner connected to you, then sometimes it can be that. Okay. So be open minded about that. Um, this is coming into your pathway. Okay. Um, next week. Okay. And the beginning of next week. Um, <clears throat> again, all of these cards are the same thing. So the seven of pentacles is my, um, you know, he's got two pentacles in his hand, which is money. Okay, finding out which which way he, what, what he's going to do with this money. Now, what he has been doing with this money has been planting it here, and it hasn't actually worked. You know, it feels as if you're not getting much reward from it. So it's like this is the decision time. Um, hence the chariot. You know where do you go now you then get the, the, a, a job offer ace is always the beginning of pentacles is money so the beginning of a money opportunity and that is the party card celebration achievement um you know opportunity so you know it is a it's a, it's a good time it's a good time for you and um, this is my self-employed card it's always been the king of pentacles here in the cosmic deck um, so, yeah, this is saying that um, this opportunity has, I think for a lot of people, it's going to be um, a project on the side of what you're doing. OK, something which is like a hobby turns into a money making venture. Um, there is a very bubbly, happy person around you. Um, but there's also this is this energy is needed within this new job, within this new opportunity. There's a need to have that high vibrational energy. So let out of that inner child, let out that kind of buoyancy, um, bouncy energy, because if you go in on a flat energy, you know, it's like, oh, I don't know if it's going to work or not, you know, that is not going to get you anywhere. So go in with the high vibrational energy and you'll be very, very surprised. Sometimes we have to be selfish. Sometimes we have to pick ourselves above other people. Sometimes maybe this is the time for you to do that. Um, maybe that is. Um, yeah, it's saying stand your ground, stand up for yourself, don't back down. Um, I feel as if you're going to be trying to um, trying to persuade people that you know what you're doing, even though it might look as if you don't. OK, but uh, you've had this download, you've had this information come through um, that says go in this direction. It's going to work for you. You've got another ace, which is boredom, restlessness. Maybe you have been bored for a while. Maybe you haven't, your skills haven't been tested. Um, and maybe this is the opportunity that you need. And um, the judgment time. Sometimes it's, it's, sometimes there's a need to not be judged. 
sometimes um, it's like, you know, you keep judging me when actually, um, you know, sometimes we need to point the finger at, uh, at ourselves before we point the finger at uh, someone else. Maybe, um, you know, um, the lesson is to be um, more open minded, really. So there you go. That's what I have for our lovely Taurus. Okay, so this is Virgos. Okay, the 20th through to the 26th of May. I'm just tuning in now, see what major Arcana card is linked. Oh, let me put this one back. I'm going to put the chariot back in randomly into the deck. Okay, here we go. This one, which is the world. Okay, so fantastic. You don't get better than the world unless it was the sun. The sun and the world are two of the best cards in tarot. And uh, this means that anything that's happening is going to um, turn out better than you realized. OK, so um, this is a new opportunity uh, for things to go right, for things to click, click, click into place uh, when you actually thought it was um, going to go the opposite way. OK, so, um, you know, start to see things emerge in your life um, with more purpose, um, with a better um, outcome for the future. OK, so, yeah, let's have a look and see what else we've got. OK. That's funny. Flipped over onto the Virgo. That is my Virgo card. OK, in um, the cosmic deck. Um, so Virgos, uh, they plan. They like to plan ahead. Um, they always have. Um, what can I get from this situation? How can I get this? Um, to work for me? What can I learn from this so that it makes me a better person? Okay, so they are always thinking like that. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing. You know, this is just how how it works. Okay, so let's have a little look. Um, but with Virgos, it does mean that their mind goes bing, 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 <laughs> all the time. All right. So tuning in now. Ooh, they all kind of bunch together together then that's it okay um, I've done it you know um, this is the initial celebration where you um, know how well you've done um, because you know how hard it's been for you okay so this is where you know you should be proud of yourself if you're not sitting there proud of yourself then I think this is kind of like a kick up the bum saying come on you know really look at where you were look at where you are now okay um so uh, and uh, the two now the two of cups it can mean um an attraction to another person it can mean <clears throat> excuse me it can mean um you know somebody being attracted to you um, it can mean that you are making a difference in someone else's world um, and they are clearly showing signs of being um, happy. OK, truly happy. Um, now, the nine of cups, the nine of cups is reuniting with somebody from the past, <clears throat> somebody that you have been um, <clears throat> estranged from, connected um, back in touch with. So um, looking at these, there is, you know, somebody is thinking about you. Uh, they miss you in their life. <clears throat> they feel as if they are trying to reach out to um, to make things things right again. Um, they are trying to rekindle what was, okay? Um, this is going to bring you a lot of, uh, you know, satisfaction, a feeling of, you know, you know, this is, uh, <clears throat> I knew that they would miss me kind of energy okay so now um the, by the middle of the week you've got this looking after yourself card the seven of swords um now this one you can see is my safety blanket so looking at things um that are going on in your life and it's like give yourself um um give yourself a break you know start kind of looking at yourself as a, a human being and not some sort of robot that is supposed to do everything 
absolutely um, perfectly. You know, you're learning things as you go along. Um, there are people around you who are teaching you, um, you know, a lot about yourself and the way that you handle things. It's important. Um, so you've got the energy of the Taurian, um, who is uh, a plodder, steady, hardworking, reliable type of um, person. And um, this is the person who likes things per per um, perfectly. OK, so, you know, looking at these cards together, um, this just shows me that, um, you know, you have been expecting perfection from yourself, but also perfection from other people. Um, your standards um, are maybe too high for someone else. You know, we always expect someone else to be as dedicated and as, um, you know, good at what um, what what you what they do. You know, and sometimes it's not, you know, they're doing a job maybe that is, is like was just a job um, to them. But for you, it's something far more than that. And, um, you know, so, you know, sometimes it can be um, this strong feeling um in your life that uh that you, you know you've got to do you've got to be proud of what you do as well so um let others you know do what they have to do and um, so it's, it's like don't try and expect too much of other people if you want something done then sometimes cliche but that's what that is going on in the middle of the week by the end of the week, um, you've got the Two of Swords, okay, which is, uh, you know, not talking to somebody, maybe, or keeping your mouth shut about something. Um, you've got the Seven of Cups, which is tormented, feeling emotional, and you've got the um, Eight of Cups, which is letting go, walking away. So looking at these cards um, together, there is definitely going to be a bit of an emotional situation um, in the middle of the week where... Um, you will feel like you are you can't take any more emotionally. Um, maybe you've you've kind of said yes uh, to um, commitment when you know you really weren't able to give that commitment back. Um, maybe there has been you know situations that have been quite overwhelming um, and uh, emotionally it's like I'm done. Um, for other people, it could be that someone else has said. I can't do what you want of me. You know, you are expecting too much of me and therefore I have to let you go. I have to move on. Well, we do have the world card, which does indicate, you know, hang on in there. Things are going to work out for the best. You know, sometimes there is a, a bit of um, a kick up the arse that is needed. Um, sometimes we have to realise, you know, how much somebody means to us by something coming to an end or something kind of, um, you know, pausing, stopping and then moving on again, OK, or getting back together, reuniting. So, yeah, just hang on in there. There seems to be a bit of a blip um, to do with that. And that's around the sorry, the middle to the end of um, next week. But on the whole, you know, hang on in there. It is going to be it's going to be worthwhile, even though it might be a bit dramatic in the middle of the week. OK. So there you go. That's what I see for our lovely Virgos. OK, have a wonderful week, Virgo. OK, so Capricorn, I'm going to put the world card back in the deck. OK, this is just the major arcana cards here. So let's have a look and see what week Capricorns are going to be having. OK, so, oh, that card just flew out there. So. That's the, the wheel, okay, the wheel of fortune. Now, the wheel energy, to me, um, is going in the right direction. But this does mean um, that things are not going to stay the same as they were. And so we have to decide how that happens, okay, when we do the reading. Um, so with the energy of this, uh, the wheel. Okay, let's see. Okay. So... Um, I'm going to tune in now for Capricorns. Here we go. Okay, so I'm seeing some friendships and things. They show me a lot of, a lot of. Um, it's like people coming back into your life who have been estranged. People that 
um, um, had no, uh, they did, did not want to be part of your life. You didn't want them to be part of your life. Um, there was uh, difficulties, um, you know, falling out, um, lack of understanding on both sides. And um, that has then caused um, this break, okay, in communication. Well, it's all back. It's all back now. And um, I feel there's going to be a lot of celebrations, going to be a lot of um, joy, pure joy and happiness. And um, that doesn't mean to say that you can hand on heart say that you forgive each other, you know, for not being there at the hard times that you've been experiencing um, over this last kind of year or so. But I do feel that, um, you know, this can be a fresh start. But both of you have to decide to move um, all of that crap that uh, has been um, festering, OK, um, within, you know, your uh, your thought patterns and your emotions. We've got to let that go now and move that into, you know, a pile of it doesn't matter anymore. OK, um, all, all that matters now is um, the future. What's going to happen next? So I've got a character who's going to be very strong in your life, okay, around the middle of this next week. Now, this person doesn't like confrontation. And this also means that you won't like confrontation next week. You're trying to avoid it. You're trying to avoid that um, misinterpretation of, you know, help or not help, be helped or, or you know, do it alone. Um, because I feel that, you know, as somebody is trying to push people away, um, the other person is trying to push through those barriers. And it is, you know, what are you going to do about that? Are you going to carry on trying to be an island? Um, are you going to try and do everything yourself? Um, or are you going to admit that maybe you do need a friend? You do need somebody who can um, be there um, in your life. Um, there is going to be some talk about um you know your home your accommodation are you feeling as if you're, um with where you are or should it be a discussion um about maybe you know what is going to happen in the future um regarding your home are you going to um settle are you going to um you know do work to your home are you going to pay some money out to get those repairs done or are you going to say no i'm going to be moving we're not going to be here you know, uh, things need to change. So I feel as if I'm hearing this conversation back and forth um, regarding your home. Um, um, this can also be somebody else around you who is talking to you about, you know, their options and what it is that they want to do. Um, I'm seeing spirit kind of around and they're trying to guide um, each one of you that is involved in this conversation. They're trying to to guide you into you know um the best way forward and what you could do okay with your situation and um and so yeah so watch out for signs sometimes um spirit like to communicate through signs so it could be that you i don't know pick up um i don't know i don't know a leaflet or something and it's got on it moving the word moving very um very broad and bold on it you know and um, so yeah just watch out for those signs because the you know it might you might seem as if it, that you know that doesn't um that's not relevant to me but uh, actually when you think of it in an abstract way it does actually mean something um i can see that spirit guides are saying you know whatever you need we'll provide it for you um but all you have to do is ask so make sure that you don't kind of isolate yourself away from spirit um, and not ask the questions that need to be asked, okay? Um, it's okay to ask spirit for help. Um, so I'm seeing at the end of the week, there's going to be lots of ideas going off, bouncing around in your head, more ideas than normal, um, new ways of getting to the destination that you want um, by different means, okay? That is kind of like a, a very, very strong kind of energy there. Um, I feel as if there is a young person around you who is going to really need your support and love and, you know, understanding. Um, they are not exp expressing themselves as, as well as they think they are. 
So um, it could be that they, they think that you can read between the lines and you can know what it is they're feeling and what they need and what they want. Um, but actually, it, uh, it's not working um, as well. So, yeah, what, what the wheel basically is saying um, when I look at these cards, there's going to be a lot of changes um, to do with friendships, to do with, you know, um, so for some people, it will be love life. For other people, it will be friendships or family members. But there is a lot of reconnecting going on and, you know, reestablishing kind of boundaries and things um, in conversations where there has been uh, fallouts or misunderstandings um, that is then being uh, revived. Um, spirit guides are definitely around you and there's going to be some discussions and talks about rerouting or moving. Uh, so input or moving. OK. Um, don't like confrontation, so try not to be confrontating to other people as well. Um, something to do with anger and frustration also around a person who is being quite immature. Um, I'm hearing this anger around them and um, they're not kind of reacting in the best way possible. So, that you know, again, that can cause misunderstandings or be because of misunderstandings. Um, so be quite clear and precise about what it is you feel what it is that you want to get across okay it's very important this month this week definitely for Capricorns so there you go that is what I get for Capricorns right so Leo's okay. okay let's have a look the um the card from the last one is going back in the middle of the deck here okay so this is Leo's Lovely Leos. Let's have a look. And that's where it stops. So I'm going to do that one. Okay, so this is the Empress. Okay. Um, now that can be literal for somebody. Somebody may be expecting a baby or is a, a, um, an announcement about a pregnancy. It can be somebody who's talking about whether or not they want a baby now, whether or not that is what they're planning or they're talking about it. OK, but, uh, that's all linked. OK, so somebody um, who is talking about a business idea um, that has got good potential as well. And they're talking about the timing um, to do with launching maybe that business idea. You know, is it the time to do it right now? Um, you know, maybe you tried something in the past and it just didn't work. Maybe it's about uh, trying something different. OK, so let me tune in now to Leo's and uh, we will see what uh, what we get for the week. OK, so we've got a few secrets around somebody keeping a secret, something something, can, you know, has to be kept private, you know, make sure that nobody knows. You know, um, I'm going to tell you something, but it can't um, it can't be leaked out. So there's something like that happening and uh, conversations about, about that happening, um, you know, um, in your world, around your world. Um, so sometimes that those secrets are things that are going to be revealed. So, you know, whoever is keeping secrets, um, maybe they need to talking to because it feels like um, it's unstable, OK, in, um, in you know, who they're trusting. Um, so sometimes it's about covering your arse. And that sounds a bit wrong, but so that's what they're saying. Uh, cover your arse. Um, make sure that you have got a plan B um, if you are having that difficulty keeping your secrets or somebody keeping yours. Um, you, you know, you keeping theirs. So, you know, you're trying to find the right balance there. Um, I've got this wishes kind of energy and uh, wanting to create more wishes for yourself, more um, things to look forward to in the future. You know, really trying hard to um, get excited about what it is that you're going to be doing and achieving. Um, I'm feeling a light hearted energy around you and not really taking things very seriously when sometimes maybe you should have. Uh, maybe you're being a bit flippant and lighthearted about things. Um, 
uh, you know, it all depends. Uh, it could be that this is somebody else around you who isn't taking things seriously and you just want to kick them up the bum and say, hey, this is this is serious here. This is something that needs to be addressed. And, you know, why are you finding humour in this when actually, um, you know, we need to talk? Um, it's going to the middle of the week is going to start off with that leap of faith because I do have the um, the full card. OK, and the full card is going to end up the middle of the week with the tower. OK, so you are going to be making a decision or doing something on the life. So um, this could be a heads up warning to say, you know, don't make rash decisions kind of um, at the middle of the week or perhaps this week is not a good time to make rash quick decisions and um, sometimes we have to think things through um, we have to kind of analyze what is best for us um, you know we can go back to that secrets kind of energy as well therefore who you tell okay if you're trying to listen, you tell it to can they actually um, you know keep it you know to to themselves you know um is it fair to ask this person um to keep it secret when um there's too much going on okay so yeah there's some um, a lot of decisions that are uh bouncing around i feel in your mind and uh you know you're trying to make sense of uh the you know the outcomes of all of this um, somebody's crown's going to be knocked off, meaning somebody that you once respected or once thought, you know, a lot of, I feel is going to be kind of um, making their true self known. OK, so, you know, sometimes we shouldn't put people on pedestals. We shouldn't expect people to be everything that we are. You know, sometimes people are just people. It's the way they are. OK, they are not perfect. And um, is it OK for people to not be perfect and absolutely it is we're here to learn lessons in our life okay i'm seeing some paperwork as well for leo's uh, coming up at the middle of the week very important paperwork documents uh, putting your name down for something is also going to be very important um celebration of achievement it's like i'm hearing people say well done um i'm hearing you say well done to to yourself as well as you look yourself in the eye in a mirror and you're going we did so good didn't we do good um so yeah i feel as if this is to do with standing up for yourself standing up for um you know the fact that uh, you're not a pushover anymore um that people can't take you um for granted and get away with it the way they used to um especially when it comes to love life or personal life um you know this is it now this is it so yeah you're kind of coming out of your kind of meek and mild kind of energy and going straight into don't push me <laughs> kind of energy you know and uh, it's okay it's absolutely okay to be like that um i can see some contracts um around you okay contracts um i can see kind of being it's fairness okay they're talking about fairness and balance okay this week um very important okay so there you go that's what uh, is going on. okay so sagittarius 20 through to the 26th of may okay so i'm going to place the last card in here so what is the major arcana card for sagittarius this this week okay it's that one Ooh, the lover's card okay so the lover's card can mean um obviously the usual can mean to do with love life to do with partnerships um but it can be business partnerships as well believe it or not um, it can be um, connections. It all depends on what cards are surrounding it. OK, but uh, yeah, so this basically is indicating connections that you have with others and how that all works uh, together. So let's see what other cards there is. OK, so just going to tune in now for Sagittarius.
Oh, that card didn't want to go in. So we leave that one out. Okay, so nor did that. Okay. They're a bit lively for you, Sagittarius. Oh, and another one. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Right, let's look at the cards that fell out first. Okay. So we have the three of pentacles. That means changes in the home, changes in a business, okay, building, making things better, okay, it's the building blocks of business, making good business cho uh, choices and decisions, improving on something that you are um, doing, which is, um, it could be your living arrangements, you're improving on those, it can be uh, like a small business, maybe a hobby, you're going up a level, um, and doing something even better with it, okay? But it is moving, changes, DIY, um, things like that. Can be gardening, um, you know, there's just, it's, it's a, a bit chaotic actually, um, but it's actually organized chaos. Wheel of Fortune, um, obviously, is a change as well. Um, so this is chaotic changes. And the other, these are the cards that fell out, by the way, guys. So um, this is an Aquarian energy. So um, think about somebody who's a bit quirky, a bit funny. Maybe you're feeling a bit quirky. Um, maybe you've just all of a sudden decided that you're going to decorate something or you're going to change rooms around or, you know, change your furniture or you're going to completely sell something and then buy something new, you know, just because, you know, um, there's a, it is because of a boredom. It's because you want some excitement in your life and, you know, for some reason it's not exciting enough or maybe it's been, yeah, just uh, one of those, one of those weeks maybe. Okay, tell me about it. So, um, so I feel as if I've got to put some more energy in the cards. Okay, so um, because they are obviously very bouncy right now for Sagittarians. Okay, right. Okay, so um, I also feel as if there is a need for strength. It's a need to keep your cool. Try not to lose your temper. Try not to get agitated by other people because it won't work in your favor okay this week um, um you know when whatever your actions are is going to be logged and it's going to show up in your future so sometimes we make these rash decisions and we don't think anything of it and then later on in our life it says, do you remember when you were 16 and this happened? Or do you remember when you were 26 and you're now 56 and they're going, you know, um, it's in your record that you did this or you made that decision. And so watch out that whatever you're doing is not going to come up later on and bite you on the ass because I feel that it could do. So they're asking you to, to take a step back um, before you do anything anything hasty or rash regarding your temper, your anger, or your... Okay. Um, we've got that that full card, which is spur of the moment energy, you know, um, but I, I feel by the middle of the week, the um, your intentions, your spur of the moment kind of discussions and decisions, um, they're actually going to work in your favor at that point. Um, because I do have the three of wands, which is I'm proud of how I've handled this. I'm proud of my actions. OK, this is actually better um, than I thought. OK, but it will be sudden. OK, so you've got the full card, which means sudden. OK, and um, um, father figure, fatherly character, a father figure or an authority um, person. Somebody who's being quite authoritative. Um, this person wants to be judgmental. This person wants to find you guilty for something. They want you to be the one that's in the wrong. There's somebody trying to trip you up. There's somebody trying to manipulate you so that you do something that, uh, you know, you will be, you will regret. So watch out for mind games this week, uh, Sagittarians, because you may fall straight into it. And I really don't want you to. Um, sometimes you feel as if I'm backed into a corner here. What do I do if I decide this? Then I'm going to look like that. If I do this and or if I do nothing, this is going to happen. 
So, you know, sometimes it's we have to get a check on our ego and say, do you know what? Does it matter? Does it really matter if people see me like this? All it matters is that I can hold my head up high and say, I have pride in myself. I have, um, yeah, I have dignity and I'm not going to resort down to your level. So, yeah, tricky week, I would say, Sagittarians, but have your wits about you. That's why they were so jumpy and bouncy all over the place. Okay, so but, uh, all the partnerships, um, either business partnerships or partnerships in love. Okay. So I'm going to slip this back into the deck. Okay. And, um, yeah, we're going to be moving on to Aries. So this is Aries. Okay, right, so we've done the earth signs. This will be the end of the fire signs. After that, we will be doing air and then water signs to finish. Okay, so I'm just going to concentrate now on the major arcana card for this week. I'm going to put the other card back in there. Okay, so... Um, oh, so we've got the lovers card again. So again, partnerships. Oh, I just got the word betrayal. Okay, betrayal. So there is somebody who's claiming that they have been betrayed. They have been treated badly. Um, I'm getting the words misleading someone, deliberately misleading someone, um, skirting around the truth. Um, not being completely honest. Um, so there's, um, yeah, there's a lot of kind of drama coming up, I feel. Now, you know, it doesn't have to be you directly, okay? So remember that, it doesn't have to be you directly, um, but you can be involved around it or you could, this can be, you know, in your life, okay? So I'm just going to shuffle this deck and just see what else they want to say, okay, about next week. Oh, that card just did not want to go in. And that's the emperor. So that can be something to do with authority figures, people who want to be classed as authority or want to be the boss. All right. Okay, so yeah, um hmm. Things they give me, and then I have to then juggle it about to see how I'm going to word it. All right, so it feels like somebody needs to be away from other people. So this can be, um, it's not beneficial sometimes to be around people who are dishonest, people who have um, lied deliberately people who um have uh, have mani manipulated you or the people um around you and i feel as if this there is a person around you who's done just that and um, you're deciding to um not have them in your life okay distance yourself from them and i do get the thumbs up from the spirit world thumbs up from your guide saying yes this is the best course of action um for sure there seems to be a bit of uh, confusion around a property or around accommodation, okay, as well. And uh, this is going to lead to, um, you know, again, is pick a side. Um, some people, I feel as if, as if there is a bit of a divide going on, okay. This divide is linking to, you know, um, friends of, of this couple, friends of family, um friends who you know maybe acquaintance friends um but yeah there's a there's a lot of confusion there and um you know like i said it doesn't have to be you directly but you will be kind of around this situation um and this will be around the beginning of this next week um they're also showing me um keys and a property okay 
opening new doors to a kit to a property you've got two nines here okay so you've got the nine of wands and the nine of pentacles and both of those are kind of like you're nearly there you've nearly completed but there seems to be a last minute obstacle to do with a transaction linking to money or finances and probably linked to this property okay um and there is somebody who is interfering in a way that they um, that shows that they are not somebody to um, to trust. Okay, that's what this feels like here. Um, by the middle of the week, everything comes. Um, you know, it, it's like, like everything comes to a head around the middle of this next week, and we've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is a large amount of money. Um, we've got a bit of eruption, so this is kind of like you know, the ups and downs of things. And, you know, sometimes things need to get to the surface in order um, to deal with whatever ugliness is around it. Um, and this is with it, it's the most sarcastic card in the deck. Uh, so that, you know, you can't not deal with this situation. You can't just ignore it and hope it's going to go away. That's for sure. Um, so, yeah, this, this is going to be very much prominent in your life. And it does feel as if it's linked with authority figures um, either somebody who's trying to be a boss or be bossy, okay. By the end of the week, everything is resolved and sorted out. This is all good. Um, you have had to kind of like show strength, show strength of character. Um, you've had to kind of like say, you know, this is my life. This is not about you. This is about me. Um, and uh, taking a leap of faith. I don't know why. But I'm going to do this. And there, that's the success card saying you personally feel amazing that you did this. Um, you feel amazing that you got through all of that um, and come out on top of it all. OK, at the end. So. So, yeah. So that is what's going on um, with our Aryans. Okay, so Aquarius now, okay, 20th through to the 26th of May. Let's see what major arcana card um, is going to be for this week. It is the Justice. Okay, so this is about getting your justice. This is about um, what's right and what's wrong. Um, it's about... Um, official documents, um, sorting out letters officially, um, finding out where you stand um, in certain ways, um, maybe within the law or within uh, your rights. Um, sometimes it's about your sovereignty. Sometimes it's about who may have done you wrong, okay, and you're kind of uh, seeking karmic justice. OK, so that's basically what that card means uh, briefly there. So let's have a look and see what I see for the rest of the week there for Aquarius. All right. OK, so lots of outspoken words having to get your point across. And sometimes when we have to get our point across, we have to find different ways, um, sometimes creative ways um, of getting um, our opinion out there. Um, and I can see that um, this is coming from the heart. So this is something very um, significant to you. Um, I feel that sometimes you have been a little bit too kind of, um, you know, not taking things seriously um, in the past. Um, um, and now all of a sudden you're having to be serious, uh, which uh, which other people maybe are not used to. Um, and so they didn't have to take you at this time. Um, they're talking about this um, isolating your emotions and um, going deep within yourself, um, you know, and uh, this is an education for you. So you are not used to this. Um, like I said, you're not used to this. There is somebody also around you who is in education or is learning uh, new skills. And maybe this is where this um, 
um, documents comes in, maybe this is where you know you're signing up for something. Um, maybe you've bought a, a workshop or a course or something along those lines. Um, that would make um, you know sense with these cards that I've got here. Um, but uh, as I said, it is basically being opinionated um, in your own way, even if that's quirky. Okay, so um, emotionally, emotionally, there's a, a bit of rejection and um, a feeling of I'm always putting more effort in than I'm getting back out of um, my situation. Um, and uh, this seems to be unfair. Um, there, there's somebody also around you at this time who can be a bit blunt with you, a bit, um, you know, straight talking um, and can be critical, you know, and critical for no good reason. So imagine that you are with somebody for 50 years and you've heard all of their jokes and you've heard and you've laughed along for 50 years and, you know, there's been all sorts going on. But then it gets to the stage where it's like, you know, nagging and, you know, being so there is something like that going on. And but I don't feel as if you've necessarily done the 50 years, um, but there is somebody who's you're finding it difficult to tolerate them. You find and this doesn't have to be a partner. This can be a friend, um, <clears throat> a sibling. You know, um, yeah, it can be, you know, partner. Um, but I, I just feel as if it's like, is it time to break free? Um, are you asking yourself, do I like who I am when I'm around them? You know, am I the same person as, as I have always been? Um, and another thing to ask is, you know, we all change um, in life. And has, have, has your partner changed? Or are you outgrowing your partner or your friendship or your family member? Now, this all these questions are running around your head. Does it mean that you're going to, um, you know, move on and and leave your partner? No, this is just sometimes um, this is something that um, gets asked in your own mind. OK, and I just feel as if there's a, just a few little doubts, niggly doubts going on here. OK, by the end of this next week, end of this next week, I feel as if there is the realization that actually there's not a lot wrong with the relationship. It's more your relationship with yourself and the fact that you are not getting out, you're not enjoying yourself, um, you stopped doing all life. And so this is where it's like, I need to put more effort in to my relationships, to my friendships, to my inner circle. Um, and that could be, you know, finding interests that that, um, that is just for you. So that's hobbies. That's um, finding a new set of friends um, that stimulate your mind. Um, and so sometimes it's like your partner. We always think our partner has to um, be our counsellor, be our financial advisor, be our, um, you know, co comedian. You know, they have to be all of these things when actually there's too much pressure to put on one person. And um, sometimes it's all about maybe um, realizing that you have an obligation to yourself um, to spread your energy um, to other groups um, of friendship so that they can feed um, your, your energy. And I feel this is going to be a big process. So like I said, for some of you, it will be to do with your relationship and um, your love life. Others, it will be a friendship or a partnership. OK, it's about outgrowing who you're around. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what they wanted to say um, for Aquarius. OK, so it's balancing out. Yeah. So there you go. That is for our Okay, so we are now on Gemini's, okay? So we've got Libra to go next, and then we've got Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Okay, so let's have a look and see the Major Arcana card here. This is this 
one, which is The Hanged Man, okay? So The Hanged Man is about looking at things from a different angle, looking at life from all different directions, okay? What you once thought was, um, I would never even think of doing this, or you no, know, that's, that's not my opinion. I've got a um, different opinion to that. And then all of a sudden, things start to turn around or change. And that's usually the universe saying, you was a little bit too hasty in making that decision or coming to that um, realization, okay? Sometimes we have to grow spiritually. Um, in our consciousness, we have to grow. And uh, this is why we, we have the hanged man. It can also mean that you have to be patient and um, look at um, look at alternatives in life. Sometimes the universe pauses your life so that you can actually, so you can ask yourself, actually, um, do I need to? Or, you know, am I happy? Or is this the right thing to do? Okay, it's giving you that get out of jail free card. That's what it's doing for you. So it's actually not a bad thing. Um, it just feels frustrating at the time because uh, you're blinkered or one-minded um, as to what you want to do. It's like, I always wanted to do this. But actually, the real realisation is the universe is saying, are you sure? Are you sure that's still your wish, your, your goal? Or is it habit um, that uh, that's what you want? OK, it could be the wish has taken so long to get here, but now it's not suitable for you. So let's have a look and see what else uh, they want to tell Gemini's. Okay. Oh, he's starting off with the sun. The sun card is happiness, um, joy, um, being at bliss, okay, with your life, with your with yourself. Um, I can see there being, a, the start of the week is about that, um, you know, it's like a, a, what do they say, a skip to your, to your step you know, you're feeling very light-hearted, you're feeling very um, emotional and very fun to be around as well. Everybody wants to um, be around your energy. The Wheel of Fortune, things are changing, you know, you're going with that change, um, but you're in this, in this really good place. There's a lot of research going on, and I'm seeing you looking up um, facts and figures. Um, you are studying, but that doesn't have to be studying linking to I don't know <clears throat> like a workshop or or a class sometimes that is finding out information that is going to help you and educate you on your situation maybe um, it is good news you then have the ace of wands which can be you know from that energy of boredom and restlessness uh, comes I know I'm going Going to look into I'm looking into that interest I'm going to look into that idea that I had um, and when that idea comes about you then want to um, get into it and to work hard at it um, and this is um, very very exciting um, there is somebody who is being romantic to you or being generous or helpful or kind okay and I feel that this kind of energy you're you're thinking to yourself, is this is this true? Or, you know, there's a bit of cynical to this. Um, and uh, it's like, well, what do they want in return? You know, and sometimes they don't want anything other than your happiness, other than to make you feel good. But, um, you know, there is also some people um, out there who it's the opposite. You're, you're creating a romantic gesture okay, to someone um, that you you have, have got a lot of time for. Um, and so sometimes it is that. Um, but uh, it is, um, it's a lovely feeling. It feels, it feels a good feeling. Okay, there. Let's have a look. There is somebody getting jealous, though. There's um, somebody's noticing the attention that you are giving this other person, or this other person's giving you. And it's like, well, where do I? I stand with this. What's going on? And at the end of the week, the end of the week, there's a lot of people nagging you, a lot of people trying to 
gossip or trying to give you information that you really don't want. I can see that in a spiritual way, you're looking at them thinking that's such a low vibration um, talking about other people in that way. Um, being that kind of so-called bitchy energy um, and uh, negative vibrations. And so I, I feel as if you're more and more um, understanding conversations and the energy that they bring and whoever brings that information as well, i.e., you know, maybe a friend and all that all that um, they ever talk about is other people or the um, the down kind of energy that, uh, you know, is going on. So I feel that, the, you know, it may be time for that kind of shedding energy and a moving on energy as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like um, sometimes like you've got the hanged man, you're looking at things from a very different angle. What once interested you uh, with conversations like that. Now you, you think, I don't like the feeling that that gives me when I anymore. So, yeah. There you go. That's what I get for Gemini's. Okay. Okay. So, this is now Libra, and uh, this is my lovely hubby, um, Mr. Greg Preston. God bless you. Um, and this is, uh, so he's a triple Libra. I've got Libra rising, so um, we're going to do Libra. Let's have a look. Um, so I've put the other card back in here. So let's see what energy major arcana card is for Libras um, at this, this week. It's this card. Oh, strength. Okay, so bring out that kind of tiger or tigress, bring out that in you this week for sure. Um, show other people how strong you are. Show other pe people how resilient you are. Um, not in a, an aggressive way, but in a, um, a graceful kind of energy where, you know, you're not going to take any crap from anyone. You're not going to, um, you know, allow people to talk down to you. Um, that, you know, people see you as an equal, um, you know, within your life. So, yeah, just uh, it's that energy there. So let's have a look and see what else we have. So this is the 20th through to the 26th of May 2024. Okay, today's date is the 20th at the moment. So I'm just going to tune into your energy um, and see what they want to tell you. Okay, so the beginning of the week, beginning of the week, you're kind of looking around your home and thinking, spending a lot of time at home. Do I actually enjoy my home? Do I like my home? Do I want to move? Okay, because you have the hermit card, which as you see, is your home. It's also your wisdom, your alone time. And then you have the six of swords, which as you can see, is looking ahead and you can see the sunshine there. So it's looking ahead um, energetically wise, okay? And um, the reason why I know it's energy is because we have the Ace of Pentacles. So these three cards together just tell me that there is um, something to do with a financial decision. It's linking to moving and it's linking to the home, okay? And uh, yeah, that's a very significant uh, to the conversation that Greg and I had recently. So, yeah, so I can see this. Um, so, yeah, um, there is a, an opportunity of a new job different to what you're used to. And um, I'm seeing this being something that is going to give you less time um, to do um, other projects but it's also going to bring in some extra money. And I feel that um, Spirit are, are going to be steering you into a different direction, a direction that is going to be surprising, but you're actually going to very much enjoy it as well. 
Um, and I feel that you'll find out about this within the beginning of next week, okay? I can see that there is, um, you know, trying to keep everything balanced in your life. It's always a constant balance. And, and that's what Libras do, don't they? Um, you can see by the temperance card and the pouring from one cup to another, okay, energy, which is exactly what Libras do. It's, it, um, water is a conductor of energy, but it's also emotions. And so when the, you're pouring one into the other, you're trying not to spill um, your the water, trying not to spill your energy. You're trying to get the fairness out of life, okay? So whatever you're putting in, you're wanting back, okay? Um, now you've got the three of pentacles, which again is to do with moving um, boxes and changes, okay? So I can see there being something exciting um, you know, on the horizons. And, uh, you know, this does indicate, you know, still the sunshine energy. I'm still seeing sunshine energy. I'm still seeing, you know, um, looking at life through excitement, looking at life through, you know, possibilities, you know, and uh, achievements. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there is a lighthearted feel about this. So there's not a heaviness regarding talking about moving. It's not like, oh, God, I've got to move. It's more to do with, you know, well, that's a possibility. Um, and sometimes it's not you that's talking about moving. Um, you know, obviously, I'm not um, I'm reading for lots of different, um, you know, people, Librans. OK, some people have got Libra rising. Some people have got Libra uh, moon or sun. You know, so, you know, this um, this to me just feels as if, um, you know, you've got um, opportunities that are surrounding you that are leading you away from the original path um, that you're on, but not in a negative way. Um, it is in um, it's going to enhance you or give you more opportunities later on to do what it is that you really want to do. OK, um, so um, there's somebody who is trying to stir up a little bit of problems. And I feel as if there's a bit of gossip, you know, or there's this nagging voice inside your head that you think, well, who are you? You know, why are you putting doubt into my my head? Um, and I feel as if you're going to have this little conversation going on back and forth um, with this nagging feeling. I am going to tell you a story about um, a reading that I did for somebody. And within this reading, this person said, just recently, I've been having these um, paranoia kind of episodes that, you know, my partner, who is a twin flame, um, is cheating and um, is uh, not feeling happy within the relationship. And, um, and, and that to me just said, that that is, you know, being an actual twin flame relationship, there is this feeling of um, spirit wanting to put doubt within the mindset of the other person. Um, and, uh, and sometimes this can be in any relationship, this happens. And when you know, it's like that, that thought isn't coming from me, that is um, spirit trying to in inject that into my head uh, to make me feel paranoid, to make me feel um, worse in my situation. So spirit are doing a damn good job at the moment in doing, um, if you're feeling sad, they want you to feel, you know, um, terrible sadness. If you're happy, they want to um, make you sad again. So it's always, a, there's a dampen energy that they're trying to do um, to all of us. So just be aware that if you're not usually a jealous person, if you're not usually a person who does get uh, weird thoughts or a per person who, you know, feeling feeling as if they're insecure within themselves, um, then understand that that can sometimes be negative spirit coming in and just drip feeding that. Um, and that's where it's coming from. See? Um, so the swords represents thoughts. It's like, whose are these thoughts? It's not my thoughts. Okay. And there's the sunshine, which says there's no truth to this. Okay. There's no truth to this. This is um, enhanced negative energy that is coming through. Okay. That's what's going on. All right. So 
um, that's what I see for our lovely Libras. Okay. Okay, so this is Scorpio, uh, the 20th through to the 26th of May, 2024. Okay, okay so as most of you know, every time, every week I say this, this is my daughter, uh, Rhiannon, who has just had a baby, baby Ava. Congratulations. And um, baby Ava is getting stronger and stronger. She has been poorly, but uh, yeah, getting good. So yeah, soon be home, I think. All right, so let's have a look and see what's going on with Scorpios. What's the major arcana card this week for Scorpios? It is, oh, we've got the hanged man back again. Okay, so this is looking outside the box. This is looking, um, you know, it's like um, taking stock of what you have um, and thinking in a different way. And sometimes when there has been something traumatic or something that has been a shocking experience, um, it does make you think differently. It also makes you cherish what it is that you have um, and start to be realistic about what it is that you want in the future as well. So um, that's what is going on uh, with the Major Arcana. Let's have a look at the rest. Okay, so I'm just going to shuffle the cards, bring in some energy. And this is going to be for this next week, the 20th to the 26th of May. There we go. Oh my goodness, you can't make this up. So we've got the Hanged Man again. Okay, so that's two different decks, the Hanged Man. So again, you know, you are looking at things from a different angle. Um, sometimes it, it makes you feel like that. Um, you know, um, speaking on kind of, you know, Rhiannon's um, energy, you know, she, it was touch and go regarding what, um, what she was experiencing with that uh, little, little baby. So it was very scary time for her. You know, has there been something going on in your life that you've had to rethink the way that you look at life or um, what you're doing in your life? You know, have you, um, had um a change of thought change of ideas um you know you was going in a certain direction but you're kind of like now thinking i'm not so sure anymore okay so what kind of change of mind energies okay there is something to do with education learning development um and um or educate just re-educating yourself or re-energizing your thoughts and needs Okay, there's also this person who's got a bit of a sting in their tail around you. This person is really not somebody who is easy to get on with. I can see that this person can be very blunt um, with uh, what they say or how they say it. It can also mean that sometimes when we're under stress that we've been blunt um, as well. And maybe it's like trying to address that and understand you know, what has been going on there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's sometimes we've just got to, um, you know, understand it from other people's points of view, getting into other people's energies will often do that. So look out for that next week. That's the beginning of um, the week um, for, for next week. Okay, so um, there is also this it's a strong feeling of an idea or an inspiration that is also turning up okay around yourself so i feel that then you know for, for a lot of you there's going to be maybe the start of something um you know that you're going to um to do um that can be a new job that can be a hobby that can be something that you can do um whilst you're you're you know you've got another job um there is um and it does also feel like this idea that you've had, you're very inspired by it. You're very excited about it. It's a really good idea or plan, okay? And in your mind, you think this is going to be great. Other people are going to see how great it is. But when you explain it to um, your loved ones, um, you've got them saying, no, it's not a good idea. Or, you know, they're trying to dampen down your kind of enthusiasm. 
and that's not going to go down very well okay and this could be a father figure or a fatherly character sometimes it can be a decision that you're trying to make and you're trying to convince other people that you're making the right decision and deep down you know it's the right decision but it doesn't make sense maybe as you're explaining it so look we've got these two aces and they're turning up like that okay within this reading okay so ace of um wands is um boredom and restlessness and wanting something to get fired up about um and the ace of pentacles is a chance of new job chance of new work you know an opportunity that has arise arised out of the out of nothingness and uh, you're seeing this seedling grow and you're thinking i could do that i could definitely do that um, they're talking about um, this, yeah, it just feels like a character around you who is being um, very quirky and very funny and kind of uh, thinks outside the box. And this person is going into a bit of isolation. Um, and, uh, you know, when they're going within and they are locking their thoughts and ideas and they are um, locking away their emotions and you're kind of trying to think, how can I get this person to speak out? I don't want this person to pull away. Um, you know, that is not going to be helpful to me or anybody else. So this can be, for some people, this will be a friendship. For other people, this could be a family member um, or, you know, sibling, or it can be, you know, to work with, okay? Um, but you can see this kind of energy of somebody pulling back. Um, from you or taking things the wrong way and it's like no it wasn't meant like that okay but um, there is a lot of lessons that are being learned as well I'm also seeing somebody who is every time I get this card I'm drawn to the book here um, so somebody who's going to be um, making um, you know writing a book okay do I feel excited about this as well this uh, this lovely kind of opportunity um yeah so it's like sharing your book or your book ideas with somebody um but make sure that they are the right person to share these ideas with because it, it sounds like there's somebody who is um around you who is quite critical um or if you catch them on the wrong day they can be very critical when actually, you know, on the right day, they're very um, encouraging. So, yeah, just be aware of people's ups and downs moods, okay? So it doesn't actually upset you. Okay, so there you go. That's what I see. Okay, okay so this is Pisces. Okay, this is me and my mum and the Pisces out there. So let's have a look. The major arcana card for Pisces is... the world so things turning out better than you thought better than to be expected okay um this is exactly the card that we need right now in the family for um ava and uh, and uh, you know i'm sure that there are lots of pisces out there that are also feeling very joyful about that um the world card is one of the best cards in the deck and it is saying you know thumbs up and through it saying you've got through the massive hurdle and uh, you're now coming through the right um time now you're coming through the right time the right uh, phase now okay so yeah it has been yeah something <laughs> okay so this is good um let's see what the other cards say as well let's go through that let's build up the energy 20th through to the 26th of May, please. Okay. So there is an, um, that, you know, we've got the, the nine of wands, okay, here, which means to do with your things that you really desire, things that you really, really want, um, that powerful feeling of completing um, jobs, uh, there is it's like I'm nearly there but I'm just not I'm not quite 
there. There's something that is holding me back from reaching that goal uh, on a bungee rope. And it's like, oh, it's avoid it. it pings. This is, um, this, this is hard. Um, it's hard feeling here. Um, there is somebody who you want to talk to and or you've chosen not to talk to them. And uh, this person has um, been trying to reach out to you. And uh, you're just not sure that you want um, the um, the drama, okay? So some people come with drama. They come with that kind of sense that uh, you know they don't maybe don't realise that they have that drama. They don't realise that um, you know picking at different uh, topics and uh, different conversations is not not something that anybody really wants to do, okay? So so I do feel as if this person is going to be rising up and coming uh, back towards you in your life um, they have changed they've made a lot of changes in their life and uh, as you have um, but um, that might not be um, a spiritual change okay um, there is somebody who is independent financially and this person is going to be showing you some kindness it's going to be showing you some um, it's like an opportunity that is facing you that you didn't um, expect okay and uh, I can see that uh, it, it's it's like turning away from one person or one opportunity and you it, you'll face them with another one and I do see this is this is a job an actual job um, it's not self-employment this is a, an opportunity um, that you're going to be facing um, that is going to um, give a lot of improvement in your life, the opportunity um, for you to balance things out financially um, is going to be very, very good for you. And uh, Spirit have been organising this and planning this in the background uh, for you so that you can become independent financially, okay, and no longer have to struggle the way that you have been, okay. There's an element of perfection around you and wanting um, things to be perfect wanting things to be um, just right um, and um, I can see this linked with your home um, an opportunity around your home um, there may be an opportunity to move um, you know because of financial changes okay and um, new opportunities that have um, you know shown themselves I know I keep saying that I'm repeating it and sometimes I repeat it because I'm waiting for spirit to give me that extra information um on top but sometimes they don't so um but yeah so sometimes they can be quite cryptic um these uh, spirit guides um but they are yeah they're talking about rerouting okay they're talking about rerouting feeling uprooted or not feeling um um you know as if you are stable um but i do feel you know this kind of like um counteracts that feeling so from a feeling of instability in the home there comes the Ten of Pentacles, which is um, things turning around being so much better financially for you. And um, they've also got um, a strong feeling of um, perfection, wanting everything to be the right way. Um, and uh, this is a little kind of affirmation uh, message there. I've been very cross with spirit recently because um you know it's like when when you're kind of like going through disaster in your life it's really nice of spirit to think of you and to slow down your work and slow down opportunities but what they do if you're self-employed is to limit your income so when you're going through so much stress and um and worry about things you then on top of that have the financial stress on top of that thinking well how am I going to afford to actually get to and fro a hospital for instance is what I've been going through this week it's like everything's kind of dried up you know and um, no 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 bookings means no money for me and so it's been and and I've been going why did you do that why did you do that and the message I got back was because we want to ease your load. It's like, 
easing my load? No, that's made it worse. Um, or it's like, why didn't you give, get opportunity for money to come to me um, uh, that doesn't involve maybe working? Do you know what I mean? You know, when you just think, you know, but, you know, the message message that I got from it was um, that you need to be proactive with your wishes and make sure. So if your head isn't in um, work or in a situation, um, you know, responsibilities and things, if your head's not in it, then you're needing to um, instruct your spirit guides as it's happening um, with um, new angle, new information. Um, and so these cards are very, very poignant for me. So I just thought I'd share that experience with you and um, to try and save you the, the stress that I've been under um, this uh, this last week. Because look at those cards. I mean, those cards are really good um, cards, you know. So, so yeah, it's like, a, you know, my landlord putting up my rent at a, at a time of stress as well. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you know how things are. They come in threes, don't they, um, in your life? Okay. There is mischievous energy out there. And like I said, when you're feeling vulnerable or you're feeling low, spirit can come in, the negative spirit can come in. And how can we create more mischief um, in this person's life? How can we create more misery equals more louche, which is what um, they then feed off? Um, and um, for those of you who are awake and aware, um, you will understand exactly what I'm saying. For those of you who think, what is she talking about? Um, if you, you um, so if you think of angels or your spirit guides or your, um, you know, your loved ones around you, um, they feed off your joy. They feed off your happiness. OK, so it's the opposite um, when it comes to um you know, spirit, okay, negative spirit. So negative spirit um, out there are going to feed off your misery, your sorrow, your uh, disharmony, okay? And they have been rife at work, okay, especially in my life, um, trying to get through. And this is where you're, you, you know, you have to keep up with your doorkeeper. Um, your doorkeeper is your, uh, your bouncer, if you like. Um, the person who says, yeah, you can come in, but you can't. Um, and they stop the negative energy coming, you know, directly to you. This is why they stand on the outside looking in and trying to cause um, mind games, okay, with you. Um, but this is the energy that we have um, along with the world card, which says um, they're no longer going to be able to do this because life is just going to get so much easier, so much better, um, and there's going to be some real joy coming into your life okay so it will all work out the way it's supposed to so there you go that's what i see for me Emma, and uh pisces out there okay so <clears throat> okay so this is for cantharians and this is my other daughter meggie um, who has been an absolute superstar, um, just uh, going above and beyond everything, you know, looking after dogs and looking after guinea pigs and looking after fish and looking after, you know, the grand, you know, her, her nieces, um, you know, going to the hospital, doing washing, everything you can think of um, in our family. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, we've we've all done bits and pieces, but she's done amazing so well done Maggie uh, so proud of you anyway um let's have a look and see what is going on with Cancerians okay what major arcana card is for you this week ready or was the chariot okay so the chariot is about car vehicle and travel okay now oh the sun is at the back of that card as well so the sun and the chariot. Okay, so the chariot, yeah, it's about um, blissfulness, happiness uh, with the sun and the chariot is about choices. Um, coming to that crossroads, looking at things in black and white, 
writing down the pros and the cons, um, you know, literally, um, you know, sometimes we have to write the pros and cons regarding um, any choices or decisions that we make. And I do feel as if this is going to be one of those times um, this week where you're going to have to really uh, weigh it up. Um, sometimes it's about money. Sometimes it's about opportunities. Sometimes it's about, you know, um, whether or not you're you're happy or not. Sometimes it's all sorts of different um, energies. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be one of those um, one of those things that's coming up this week. Um, it can also be about changing of a car, um, getting a new car, um, you know, um, having to go on a, a journey. Okay, as such, okay as well. It can be travel plans. Okay, let's have a look and see what the tarot now have to say. Okay, so the beginning of the week, beginning of the week, there is, it's like I'm nearly there, but I'm stuck. Okay, so this could be, you know, because you are a perfectionist and you, um, it's like uh, for, um, I'm going to do a for instance here, um, because it will be relevant to uh, Cancerians too. So um, my daughter is a perfectionist and she makes all these creations um, and uh, all these designs and things with her cryo cup uh, machine, which is a machine that can print out, um, you know, like um, anything that, and, and you can actually print out like um, personalized things, objects and things. And uh, she does such an amazing job at it, um, but she won't push and do it as a business because she doesn't feel as if she's good enough. So I'm going to say that um, to um, you guys. Is there something in your life that you know that you could do, but you're kind of holding back because you're you're thinking you're not good enough or, you know, um, you know, there's somebody else who's better or, you know, you don't want the hassle or the stress of um, of doing something that uh, maybe other people um, will be critical of. You know, maybe they're not going to be critical, but it's just your kind of your your thought patterns. And and that's where they are going. OK, so um, but I, I feel as if that's going to be coming up um, the way and up of that opportunity, whether you're going to do that or not. Um, the Princess of Swords is my perfection card. It's like everything has to be done just so. OK, um, but we sometimes put so much uh, pressure on ourselves that we don't deserve or need okay so um yeah there is a celebration though we've got a breakthrough um so it could be that there's something that um is um yeah there's something that is going to be working out really well and uh, you're going to be very surprised at the outcome so i do feel as if you're kind of um the energy of not feeling as if you're good enough I feel is going to break free and it is it is going to come into your life that, uh, you know, you're no longer going to listen to that nagging voice in your head um, that uh, tells you that you're not good enough. OK, so something is breaking through from there. I can see it. OK, so look at this. You know, you've got the world card. You have the ten of cups. The ten of cups is about completion um, and energetically and emotionally. And, um, you know, the uh, the world card is is really about, you know, things basically working out better than you thought, um, better than you realized. There's going to be juggling of money, juggling of, you know, uh, positions of uh, responsibility. Um, and so this can be um, within a job um, there is some changes within a job and somebody has noticed just how well you've been doing. You have impressed other people and other people have been singing your praises. And it's it's basically paid off, even though you might not have done it for any other reason apart from it just to do. OK, so the right thing to do is definitely paying off for you, um, you know, and uh, yeah, so I can see. There's going to be a new um, way of earning money. 
um, and uh, this money and opportunity is going to be good for you. So throughout these readings, there is a word that keeps coming up, opportunity and, to and choices. OK, that is basically there's always a theme that runs through every week. Um, and that is one of that is it. It is choices um, decisions and opportunities. You know, and crossroads. OK, crossroads. So um, there is a pregnancy um, card here, uh, which means, you know, obviously there's a new baby in our lives. Um, but uh, is there somebody who's going to announce that they're pregnant in your life? OK, by the end of next week, the Wheel of Fortune means changes, things, um, things being different, uh, coming to, um, it's, I feel as if it's coming to a halt. Something's coming to a halt, which means one way of living or one way of um, dealing with things is coming to an end and it's going to start up in a different way. This could be to do with your mothering skills. This could be to do with your fathering skill, if your father, um, it can be to do with your home life, your family, and making some choices and decisions about all of that. Um, but it feels as if I'm becoming more organized, I'm becoming more, um, you know, uh, steady of thought patterns and, and um, understanding very much you know, what my role is as a person. So there's going to be a lot of people, I feel, you know, Cancerians, um, that is going to be, um, what's the word, going to find their life path and going to to um, to carry on with it um, and to, to move forward with it. So, yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of excitement around that buzzing feeling, okay, from the spirit world as well because they've been waiting for this opportunity. They've been waiting for you to come into your own um, to start to believe in yourself so that the next phase um, can happen um, within your, um, your mind, you know? And it's like, you know, you can do this. You can do this. We just need you to believe that you can do this. And uh, then off we go. And so there's an overflowing of love energy here, overflowing of love. Um, and, um, you know, this, uh, the world card just comes to mind. I just keep looking at that and saying, you know, everything is going very well, very well. So that's the, that's the astrology for this week. Um, so there's two events uh, going on this week. Um, it's Wednesday, the, um, um, let me just get this. Yeah, it's, it's this Wednesday, which will be. Uh, what will it be? The 23rd? Um, bear with me a moment. Wednesday the 22nd um, of May, we will be at the Bell Inn in, uh, that's Church Hill, Shepherd's Well in near Dover, CT157LJ, LG, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a variety of different readers, and uh, so that is going to be at the Bell in, in um, yeah, in in Shepherd's Well. So um, yeah, fifteen pounds a reading for a twenty minute reading. Um, come along, and uh, we'll see you there. From uh, doors open from six thirty for seven pm start, um, and then also on Sunday the twenty sixth of May this week. Um, we've also got um, a clairvoyant evening, which is, um, uh, those are one-to-one -one readings on Wednesday. Um, on the Sunday, it's an audience event. So it's uh, a medium, you know, stands in front of the audience and um, brings through messages from your loved ones from the spirit world. And uh, that is going to be um, five pounds entrance fee. Um, and uh, then if you wanted, one-to-one -one reading afterwards then there are some wonderful readers um, available for you at the Heron um, and that is Station Road, Hearn Bay, right next to um, Hearn Bay's only train station um, so yeah if you wanted to come to that we'd love to see you there. I will be there and there'll be other readers as well so anyway that's it that's what I wanted to tell you. Um, um, I'm going to be doing an offer on my readings um, very soon 
Um, so there will be 25% off um, my readings, okay? And that will be for the next week or so. And um, so if anybody does want to take me up on that offer. Uh, for the people who have, um, I've got to, it's not available at this moment. So give, it, give me a day, okay, to, um, to organize uh, that offer, okay? So it's not actually um, showing up on the website yet, but it will. Um, so um, yeah, there's, um, yeah, you can also join Psychic Development, that's on Mondays, okay? Mondays, every Monday, um, there is, um, you know, an opportunity to learn another skill, okay, every Monday, different uh, topic each week. Um, and um, yeah, so any readings that have needed to be rescheduled will be rescheduled. Um, just had another message on my phone, just as I was actually doing um, <clears throat> Cancerian reading um, and uh, for my, my, my family, um, that uh, the my uh, granddaughter is coming from the high dependency um, special care baby going down a level um, so she's not she's still in intensive uh, care baby intensive care but she's actually um, now downgraded so things are looking really good she should be home soon I think um, so couldn't be happier very different last week was very different <laughs> so Anyway, lots of love and um, take care. Have a wonderful week. Keep smiling. <clears throat> Try um, kindness to a complete stranger this week. See how that, that feels, okay? Um, um, wouldn't that be wonderful if we all did it? Okay, take care. Bye.